It was almost like giving y'all a little medicine. No, you are a mixologist. I am. <laughs> like one. <laughs> Hey loves, thank you for stopping by Loving Life with Cordelia, me, your girl. Um, today we're gonna go on a little trip. We're gonna go on a little little trip today, y'all. So the rest of this video is gonna be like a vlog style. I hope you guys don't mind that style video. Well, yeah, if you don't mind that video, you wanna see what Koi the Chemist, yeah, that's what I'm calling myself today, Koi the Chemist. If you wanna see what Koi the Chemist is whooping up in the lab, just keep on watching. Basically, we get it from uh, the Middle East. Okay. You see, and um, we have some French, Arabian. So this is your own fragrances. So it's not like replicating a designer fragrance. No. Gotcha. But so we have, we have some replicate, not replicating. Mm -hmm. You can't say it's like the same thing. Right. Coco Chanel. So let me see if that smells like Coco Chanel. Okay. Definitely smells like Coco Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a Coco Chanel person, but that that smells exactly like Coco Chanel. You know Which one is this? Nah, I love Bear Bear Hair. Now you got to you gonna have to yeah. give me on this one. Let's see. This one you're gonna like. Love. I love it. All right. So basically, I tell you the notes. You mix some stuff together and create me a perfume. Yeah. All right. So do you have anything like, um, do you have any niche? Are you familiar with niche fragrances? Yeah, we don't have any. Okay, so no Delinas, no any, anything like that. I don't, I don't know why the owner, she was refusing to get some niche. Oh, why? Niche fragrances are popular now. You know what Latafas is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's trying to get all Latafas. Okay, so we got a lot of Latafas, okay. We have Gucci Blue. Oh, I love Gucci Blue. And also, uh, Andorra is really like. I feel like what is this one? I feel like this is gonna be my contender. This one is Romans. Okay, I'm gonna put that one back. I might because I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna mix it. This is Pandora. Pandora. Mm -mm. Uh, we have also uh, a scatter collection. What is it? A scatter collection. A scatter collection? Yeah. So that's something? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that smells good. It's kind of a deeper smell. All right, so let's do it. I need some coffee beans. I'm going to mix this. This is it. Okay, with the mix to yeah. see. Okay. I want to see how it smells. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. See, I, it's giving. I like this. Mm -hmm. You need to wait like a few seconds. So. Yeah. I like I like those three. I like the, the royal, but I like that little added touch. Do you like the uh, vanilla? I love vanilla. You could add vanilla to the royal. To the royal? Yeah. Let's see. Let me see. Let's see 
Oh, shit, what's that? Vanilla did do something for it. Uh-huh. It Always. did. Vanilla is really Oh my god, let me see. I'm trying to blot it a little bit because of Okay, the vanilla did it for mm -hmm. me. You guys smell like a royal cupcake. I like it. <laughs> which one which one did I add to this one? Uh this one. Okay. Rollins. So how do you well, how do you know the ratio of alcohol to oil? So um, there's a percentage mm -hmm. you need to be mixed with alcohol. Mm -hmm. This is not only alcohol. This is a substance that mm -hmm. helps the uh, perfume to remain on the skin okay. for a longer time. Okay. And. Uh, it it's different uh, from uh, one perfume to another because mm -hmm. uh, the oud, the alcohol. Do you mind being on camera? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. So go ahead. What you're saying? Yeah. So the oud, the amber, the musk, they are really so thick. And mm -hmm. So the percentage of uh, the oil that you get from them mm -hmm. is less than let's say Coco Chanel, mm -hmm. any other perfume. Okay. Because they're really strong. And I love Amber. Who doesn't? <laughs> now, is it true that um, uh, I, I'm because I'm a really in heavy into perfumes and I I look up I'm into looking up notes and stuff. So oud, why is oud so expensive? Like real oud when you're mixing real perfume. First of all, it's hard to get oud. That's why it's so expensive. Yeah. Oh, okay. So anything hard to get is expensive. Yeah. This is uh, high demand. Huh? Yeah. And uh, plus, there's uh, like some rare, uh, you know that the oud is coming from trees. Right, it's, a, it's like a mold. Uh, yeah. yeah. So some trees are rare to mm -hmm. find or rare to uh, extract. Mm -hmm. You see, that's why the oud is always expensive. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Are you familiar with some fragrances being more uh, medicinal for some people, like um, help healing or help? Lip, yeah, uplift your moods. Yeah. Spiritual. yeah. Spiritual, yeah mm -hmm. So which ones do you recommend for like um, depression or uplifting or something like that? Like um. For men or women? For women. For women, I could say uh, Coco Chanel. You think? Okay. Yeah, I think Coco Chanel. You think that's okay? Yeah. Because uh, that's funny. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought that. But that's that's. I've seen a lot of people wearing Coco Chanel, and they always uppity and and uh, uplifted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold the bottle. Yeah. Just put in. Exactly. I was almost like giving you a little medicine. No, you are a mixologist. I am. I <laughs> want. <laughs> you officially became a mixologist. Go. All right. Do I touch the other oil or do I just stay up top like this? No, you, you can uh, test fine. Okay. There you go. All right. Let's go quick with this one. Right. This one is really going to be quick. Okay. So just push it quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one is thin. Okay.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the little vlog style video I did of me, you know, being a little chemist mixing stuff up in the lab or whatever. Um, it was a great experience. I loved it, especially for someone like me who aspire to have their own fragrance line one day prayerfully in the near future so it was a great experience wonderful experience the only downfall is they didn't have any niche brand uh, fragrances uh, to choose from so I couldn't mix and you know create anything from that but um yeah they had designer brands you can create you know you can replicate whatever designer brand you wanted or you can mix you know like I did you know become a chemist in a lab baby call, call me call the chemist at this point yeah so I enjoyed every minute of it. It was a beautiful experience. Um, I can't wait to mix some other stuff up and visit some other places like this, especially ones that has niche fragrances that I can choose from. And guys, listen, I had a wonderful day. Your girl had a good day today. So don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe down below if you want to see me mixing some other stuff up. And look, check out these other videos before you head out, okay? I love you guys. Bye.